Hello HP Touchpad users. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about customizing our HP Touchpad running Cyanogen Mod 9. With Ice Cream Sandwich we have so many options for customization. A popular one is different launchers. Launchers let us uh, customize the appearance, give us docks like this on the side. We have custom themes and custom widgets that go along with the launchers. Many launchers are available for free but also have paid versions which unlock additional features. Here you can see me running the Go Launcher EX with a custom live wallpaper in the background. There's lots of options for transitioning between screens and things like that which we're going to talk about. First let's talk about launchers. Now there's a huge variety of launchers if we simply go into the Play Store and search launchers. We'll get a whole variety of launchers coming up. Popular ones like the Go Launcher EX, ADW Launcher, and Pro Launcher. There's many more to choose from, again with free and paid apps and themes, widgets, and different little things like that. Uh, once we have multiple installed, we can actually go through different launchers by clicking the Home button. Here we see the ADW Launcher. My live wallpaper stays between each launcher I go through. Bit of a different scroll, different appearance. It gives us a little bar where we so we know where which page we're on on the bottom here. Now widgets can be added to any theme. Hold down the home screen in any place, select widgets. I have beautiful widget package, but there are many that come by default, such as the music player, news and weather. We can select the size of it columns and rows it takes up and it's just simply put down and runs automatically. Very nice indeed. Let's look at the Launcher Pro. Again you'll notice differences in the docks which are here on the side, the layout, and the way we kind of transition, but that can also be set customized. So let's take a look. I prefer the Go Launcher EX. Now, it may get a little tiresome having a selection like this, so we can select here, use by default for this action, and I'm gonna check Go Launcher EX. So now, every time I hit the home button, it won't select a different launcher, it'll stay on this launcher. But preferred settings, uh, we can undo them. So let's undo it by going to settings, and then we go to Apps, and then we select Go Launcher EX, which is our default currently. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see Clear Defaults. If we hit Clear Defaults, the next time we hit our home screen button, we'll again be shown the list, so we can switch again through them. By default, when we install Signage in Mod 9, we'll have the Trebuchet Launcher. Each launcher has its own setup. It may be a little different to interact, and there can be a bit of a learning curve. For instance, Trebuchet, we need to go in and select widgets like this. Choose them, hold them, drop it where we desire. Different widgets will have different setups. You can see the scroll is a little different through the screens here. I should mention uh, the Launcher Pro was giving me problems and failing to run some points, so I'd recommend the ADW Launcher or the Go Launcher EX, especially the Go Launcher EX because it's free. Uh, so you have access to all the apps and widgets for it. Like you can see here, the widget, ah, and here's the options for my Task Manager widget. Uh, we can do themes for individual widgets. Let's try them out. I'm running a Transparency, I believe now, Skull defaults, and download more. So it's built right into it. We can just simply select, apply, and change around our themes for individual widgets. Now this launcher has its own Go Widget selection, which we can choose and add. For instance, Switch Widgets. This will give us options like Bluetooth, brightness, and that sort of thing. Next up, live wallpapers. I'll put some links in the bottom to live wallpapers as there's a huge selection 
uh, to go from the app market. And also if you simply search live Android wallpapers, you'll come up with huge selections of them. Here's a few of my favorites. We're doing the RW Planetscapes right now. Let's try some swamp water. Every time we set a live wallpaper, uh, we'll have settings. Uh, there may be paid versions with settings locked out depending on what it is. So here we can select the color. And then we set wallpaper and there we go. And it persists through our backgrounds and switching. Very nice. We can also go into a different launcher and it will still be there. Now you can see our dock is different as we go in the ADW launcher. And back again, nice and smooth. Uh, in addition, each time we install different themes, for instance, we may get additional live wallpapers from there. Let's show you a little themes. Now the Go Launcher EX is a good one to start with because there are many free themes to start with. Simply go into themes from the settings and you can see a large selection we can download. Let's take a look at some of the nice ones. Elegant theme, for instance. We simply click apply may take a moment. Now here's a different wallpaper. It's customized the appearance of our dock on the right here, and even the appearance of our folders and icons. This gives us an additional level of customization, and we can mix and match. Now that I have this theme, I can go back to my wallpapers, choose another live wallpaper to customize it further. Try a little magic smoke. looks pretty nice. In addition to setting themes, we have preferences that allow us to change the way our desktop transitions and looks. Particularly we want to see the screen settings and effect settings. Screen settings will let us set a custom grid for our icons, how closely and tightly spaced they can be. I like my screen to go circular. I like it to rotate around and around, but we can also unselect this here so that it stops when you get to the end. You see it bounce when it gets to the end. Go to the settings, preferences, screen settings, screen scrolls circularly, and check or uncheck. We can also change our transition speed. Some people might like it a little slower, a little smoother. Some people might like it a little faster, a little quicker. I prefer it a little faster, so if I want to find something, I can go through quite quickly. In addition to this, go back into our preferences, check out our effects settings. Now we can change the way our home screen transitions from one screen to the next. Bulldoze, there's many options, let's try a few. I'm just going to put this to Go Launcher for default by now. And it's kind of squishing, bulldozing the corner if you will from one screen to the next. Very neat. Back to preferences, effects, and the transitions. Now there is a huge variety to go through, so I'm not going to show you all of them. Let's show you a little windmill. And helps us to customize your appearance and themes. Now this is a lot of fun to try out for yourself. A lot of selection and simply go through the uh, market, now the Play Store, search themes for the particular launcher you're running, and you have a quite endless supply, I'm sure. Provide links into the bottom. Please give me a big old thumbs up if you found this interesting. Please subscribe to see videos like this in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.